Okay, in this problem that deals with relative motion, we have two cars. Uh, this is going to be car B, and car B is coming around this curve that has a radius of 100 meters. It's traveling at 12 meters per second and has an acceleration of 3 meters per second squared. At this particular point in time, B is, its velocity is strictly in the Y, the Y plane, and we are going to define our y plane as y is positive up and our x plane is the positive direction is to the right. Now we have this second car, car A, and car A is traveling traveling along this red line and this red line makes a 60 degree uh, angle with the horizontal. Well, we see that right here and it's traveling at 18 meters per second and has a deceleration of 2 meters per second squared. So this question is asking us to figure out the velocity of B with respect to A and the acceleration of B with respect to A. And we know that the velocity of B to res with respect to A is the velocity of B minus the velocity of A and the acceleration is the acceleration of B acceleration of B minus the acceleration of A. So we need to figure out all four of these uh, these variables and we'll be able to solve this problem. So if we look at our velocities first and we just we just start by looking at the velocities we'll, we'll start with the velocity of B. The velocity of B is simple it's this 12 meters per second it's going in the opposite direction of our positive uh, y direction so we're going to call this minus 12 uh, j and the j is just the j component and the velocity of a uh, it is moving in this this negative x direction and it's moving down so it's a minus y direction so it's it's moving at minus 18 times the cosine of 60i and it's moving at minus 18 times the sine of 60j and if you don't understand where i why this is minus we have a a minus uh yeah an 18 meters per second right here this is this this uh, velocity so it has an x component that points to the left which is against our positive direction and it has a y component that points that points down which is again against our positive y direction so we can simplify this a bit and we will get uh, well let's subtract them from each other first so if we have the velocity of B minus the velocity of A, we're going to uh, subtract them and combine like components. So we have minus 12 minus minus 18 cosine of 60 minus 18 sine of 60. And this is this is uh, this 12 has an I this this part has an I and this part has a J. And we can combine like components, so we get minus 12, uh, minus 12, the two negative signs turn to a positive, so plus 18 cosine of 60, and this is our i components, um, plus 18 sine of 60, and this is our j component. So when we simplify this, we get we get uh, nine. This is this turns into a nine nine i plus three point five eight eight j, and this is our answer in component form. So this is in meters per second. But we might not be interested in uh, component form and we might want a magnitude so our magnitude our velocity of b with respect to a the magnitude is just the square root of both of our components so it's the square root of 9 uh, plus the square root of 3.588 squared and we get a final 
uh, magnitude of 9.69 meters per second. And we can also find a direction on this. If we look, we have a, a positive 9i right here, and we have a positive we have, well, let's, we have a positive 9i right here, and we have a positive 3.588 going this way, and we, we do this from a tail to head, tail to head, and we look at the angle of the resultant, so this will be theta, and we know that theta is going to be equal to the inverse tangent of 3.58 8 over 9, and this theta is 21.7 degrees. And so our final answer, our final answer for, for uh, this part is um, a magnitude of 9.69 meters per second at 21.7 degrees measured this way from from the horizontal. Now, now we also have to figure out our acceleration. So that was our velocities. This is going to be going to be our accelerations. And how do we start this? Well, uh, first we have to let's look at our acceleration of a. Our acceleration of a is moving in a straight path but it, it's moving in our x and y plane, so it's going to have a i and j component. Uh, so it, it's minus, it, it's not minus, it has a, a two meters per second squared deceleration, so it's going this way. And this shows us that it's going to be a positive, a positive j and a positive i component. So if we look at this, our acceleration in the a direction is going to be equal to uh, 2 times the cosine of 60i and plus 2 times the sine of 60j. And because it's moving in a straight line, it does not have any normal uh, component to this. However, uh, this this part B, the acceleration of B, is going to have a normal acceleration component that's going to act this way. And we know this because it is going along this curved path. And whenever something goes along a cur curved path, it has a normal and tangential component of acceleration. So if we look at our acceleration of B, we know the acceleration of B is going to be equal to a normal component of acceleration plus the tangential component of acceleration. Well, uh, what are these two components? The, the tangential component of acceleration, we know it's going to be this 3 meters per second squared. So it's going to be a minus 3j. The reason it is minus is because it goes against what we defined as our positive direction. And our normal component of acceleration is going to be equal to uh, v squared over our radius of curvature. And we know v squared. v squared is given as uh, 12 meters per second. And our radius of curvature is given to us as 100 meters. So it's this 12 meter, uh, meters per second squared over this 100 meter, 100 meter radius. And the answer to this is going to be equal to 1.4 for zero meters per second squared. And this is the, this, this 1.440 because it points inward and right now our velocity is only in the minus, uh, our velocity and accelerations are only in this minus j uh, direction. This is really going to be a minus 1.44i because it's only in the x direction. So there we have it. We have an acceleration of b. Our acceleration of b is going to be this normal uh, component, which is minus uh, 1.44i and minus 3j. So to get our acceleration of b with respect to a, we're going to have the acceleration of, of b minus the acceleration of a. So 
minus 1.44 uh, minus 3, this is an i component, minus 3j minus um, this, this a, this acceleration of a, which is 2 times the cosine of 60 i plus 20 times the sine of 60 j. And what we're going to do, like, uh, what we're going to do is what we did before. We're going to combine our light components and we are going to simplify. So let's get a different color and we have minus 1.44 uh, minus 2 times the cosine of 60. These are both the i components and we're going to add our j components. So uh, minus 3 uh, minus 20 sine of 60 j and when we combine these we are going to get uh, minus minus 2.44 i and a minus 4.732 j And this is the component uh, form of the acceleration of B. Oops. The acceleration of B with respect to A. And we can get a, a magnitude. The magnitude of the acceleration of B with respect to A is going to be equal to the square root of both of our components. So a, a minus 2.44 uh, squared and plus a minus 4.732 squared. And the answer to this will be 5.32 uh, meters per second squared. And we can also we can also figure out this angle because we have a we have a minus 2.44, and a minus 4.732. If, again, like we've done before, we draw our vector tail to head and tail to head, and this resultant vector makes some angle theta with, uh, with these two components. And this angle theta is equal to the inverse tangent of 4.732. 732 over 2.44 and this answer is 62.7 degrees. So our final answer is going to be uh, it, it has a magnitude of 5.32 meters per second squared and the angle it makes is 62.7 degrees this way from the horizontal.